it, and we welcome you to the Rick and Bubba Show. Uh, we start a brand new hour. We're kind of in the middle of discussion of a story that will update you if you're just now joining us. Top of the hour song. Are we all ready to sing with enthusiasm and joy? Followed by the national anthem this morning, as we always start this hour. Are we ready? All right, here we go. Come on. It's time to get up in the morning, yeah! Drink my coffee, hurry up. I got you, got you, got to get a walk on time. Hey, hey, hey! Hear the whistle. Beep, 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 beep. There's a train going down the track. I see you later. Hurry back out of my way. Hey, got to get the walk on time. Hey, hey, hey! On time. Come on. I got the hustle. Oh, my muscles getting big and hot. I be sweating like a pig. Got to hurry, scurry. Got to get the walk on time. I'm working overtime after taxes, taxes, barely make a dime, bunch of clock and time, got to get to work on time, time for our national anthem, got to get to work on time. <laughs> to the Rick and Bubba Show, coming to you live from the EIB building in downtown New York City. Now, Rick and Bubba. Thank you, Johnny Donovan. 877-WE-BE-BIG is the number. Welcome into the Rick and Bubba Show. Good morning. Glad you're with us. We were uh, discussing, uh, as we uh, started, uh, ended the last hour on radio, we were discussing this bizarre story this past weekend, and there's more updates out on it today. Are there still searching for answers you know we all saw this the pizza delivery guy uh, over the weekend that had uh, a collar bomb which i didn't know collar bombs existed uh, well it sounds like something out of a james bond it does it, it's not, not something that a pizza delivery boy would design and strap on and apparently bill very accurately yeah we the, uh, you know we remember the story but if you missed it in a nutshell this guy walks into the pnc bank uh, outside of Erie, Pennsylvania, uh, on Thursday afternoon last week, he had a note demanding money, and he said he had a bomb. Uh, you know, he he left with a, uh, some money that they gave him, got in his car, police surrounded him, and they realized he's going, hey, somebody put this collar bomb on me, they made me do it. You know, you can imagine the police going, oh, we've heard it all now. And so they cuff him, and, and do discovery has some kind of something that may be a bomb. They call for the bomb squad, and then we've all seen now the video of him sitting there screaming, this thing's going to go off. I'm not lying to you. Y'all need to help me. Of course, the police going, we're not a bomb squad. And, and now people who investigated the bomb said it was one of these types that would have taken, you know, hands-on combinations, hand entries, even with the bomb squad. Rick, it was a triple-banded metal collar, unique and sophisticated, according to the FBI. Said it appeared uh, that it had four different locks on it and a combination lock. Yes, yeah, so this guy basically was doomed uh, the minute that uh, that was put on him. Now, the big question is now, he also had a roommate or a friend who... Yeah, Robert uh, Panetta, 43, who was a co-worker who called paramedics Sunday morning, said he wasn't feeling well but then refused treatment. Uh, he was later found dead in his parents' home where he lived. Uh, he was 43, and the guy who uh, had the bomb around his neck, Brian Douglas Wells, was 46. And they both delivered peaches. I know. Very, very strange. In Erie, Pennsylvania, of all places, um, uh, it said, uh, the authorities say t uh, said yesterday that uh, Panetta had a history of substance abuse problems. Now, that was his roommate, or the, his co-worker. 
Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's just very strange, all of this. Once again, though, if, um, you know, and they're looking at all leads in this thing, if this guy did this or it was some kind of prank, you just don't expect a pizza delivery guy to be able to build this kind of sophisticated device. Well, he had, they said about 40 minutes is what, what, he, what he had to get it all done. And I'm going to tell you what, if, I'm, if, I, if I had a timed collar bomb, if, boy, behind the counter they start keeping for me, and I go, hey, 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 come on now with the money. I mean, when you got a yeah, time, I started to say sometimes I've been in forty minutes would not be long enough. How about traffic? Uh, yeah, hey, let me let me ask Tra you. I mean, this. can you imagine sitting in traffic going, "Oh boy," so, you know, literally you could say, "Hey, you are killing me." Yeah, because so that, he had forty minutes to go <laughs> to go to uh, the, the bank, rob it, and then get back to a checkpoint and then take, take the collar they, off and get the money from they, it. They they assume based on him screaming, somebody put it on. Well, then let me tell you what I would have had to tell the cops. Hey, I'm not stopping. You can follow me to the checkpoint where I'm going to get this collar off of me, but I'm not stopping. Well, did right they now. wrestle him down or something? Or no, what? I'm sure. They took him in. I, hey, I'd say somebody get the hacksaw and get to work here. Well, he was, you know? he was, yeah. To me, he, I'm with you, Speedy. He started quite a protest, but after he was cuffed behind his back and sitting Indian style, by then it's too late. Yeah. To me, trying to get those cuffs on me with a time bomb on me would have been very difficult. Yeah. Well, I, we lo don't I love you guys. I understand. I'm not a lawbreaker. This was ha I was delivering a pizza, but I'm sorry. Right now, I've got to run because yeah. I've got to get to checkpoint. Yeah. Of course. And, of course, he would have gotten there, and those people wouldn't have been there, and he would have blown up anyway. Right. But, but still. But still, in your mind, you're thinking when they I, locked know, that on his neck, he, he was, was a, a dead, dead man. Yes. Yeah. It was dead over. man walking. Yeah. He, it was over. Well, Whoever did it, if he did it, or. But why would he? I mean, you know what he, he, he should have done too if he'd have got back would be hold that money right around his neck so it would blow as much of it up as possible. You know, because they were probably thinking, hey, it'll kill him and he'll leave the bag of money sitting there. Yeah, I, I know if you're yeah. a pizza delivery person, you see <laughs> some bizarre things. Sure, yeah. sure. And, and some things have happened, but you know, what effect will this have on pizza delivery? Well, I know, and that's and I don't, I don't mean to be that, selfish uh, here. That, I'm not that, trying yeah. to be selfish. This is a very sad story, but. But I'm just saying... Hey, it's scary, man. I tell you that. Right. I mean, it could right. be that you can't get pizza delivered anymore. Is that what you're talking about? Well, that too. I mean, I hate to... You know, you know I delivered that, pizza for a while. Did you really? I'm not surprised for, by For it. Pizza Hut. I bet you see some things, don't you? Yes. Yes. And... Uh, I bet you've been invited into a few parties when you bring the pizza. Yeah, I have. There was one incident when, when I was... Um, uh, delivering pizza, just trying to make it through college. You, you know, know you're broadcasting, right? Yeah, okay. there, there was one. Oh, it was one incident, and it was not with the chain I was with, but uh, a gentleman was told to come inside uh, the pizza delivery guy and uh, go up to the second floor. He had to, to climb down um, sheets that were tied. Um, he had to climb down out of the window. That's the only. It was a, a fraternity, and they wouldn't let him go. Uh, and yeah. And so he had to, he found himself climbing and shimmying, uh, is it shimmying? Shimmying, shimmying yeah. down. Not shimming. No. Or shimmying down the, After uh, watching the Count of Monte Cristo. Cristo. The, the, uh, the, the side of the brick home, <laughs> trying to, trying to get out. And have you ever tried to shimmy down a bed sheet? Uh, no, I haven't. A little harder than it looks. Names will remain, uh, you, you know. You got to tie knots in it. That's your only yeah. hope. Yeah. I walked here. I've done that before, as a matter of fact, and it is not as easy as it looks. But I you will. You have. Yes. Yeah, that's right. That that All Star game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's on the way out. Uh, so uh, <laughs> the um, um, I will. Um, I also uh, was at a gathering where I walked in one time and a pizza delivery boy was being airplane spun by a very large individual. Um, I did talk him into setting the young man down. What was Kurt doing there? Well, uh, uh, undoubtedly, uh, uh, undoubtedly, we specifically asked there be no anchovies. But oh, anyway, really? so. Um, <laughs> Uh, you you it, know what happened to that pizza delivery guy in, the, in my, one of my favorite movies, Men at Work? Yes. You remember? Well, I know. I, and they I, took him well, hostage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, part of the gang. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is a very dangerous job. You've seen too much, pizza now, boy. Now, it is a classic move, you know. <laughs> you it, remember it, that line? You've seen too, too much, <laughs> pizza boy. Hey, what's wrong with him? <laughs> Pull him in. Now, if you are <laughs> hungry, you know, one slice of pizza, um, they won't catch it. I know, and, and you, you admitted one time before that you would eat a uh, slice or and two. And slide it back together? And yeah. put it back together. And, and I'm, I'm bad for that. Yeah, and you're I was wrong young, for that. And you were my wrong. mom and dad are hearing this right now. Who and among us? very disappointed. Who among us? Sure. And I'm sorry. How about that's the worst you've done? You're in pretty good shape. That's right. Well, that's not, but still. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't even make my top 20, but uh, <laughs> I'm just, it, just in that particular. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. It's still a, a, a little nice little light story. About uh, <laughs> but I didn't get any bomb strapped to my neck. No. It's you, awful. Uh, did you, like, search for one that you like? Like, would you go, oh, I, I can't eat that with all them green peppers on it? Oh, 
Here's a here's a meat lover. Yeah, sure. oh, yeah, yeah. Did you. Is that what you do? Sometimes, did, sometimes, and it was very, it was very rare, but I did do it on, on certain. Can I occasions. tell you, I'm on fire for just cheese pizza right now. I, it's a kid's favorite. I love kind of got into really? I'm yeah. into that. Yeah. I'm going to tell you this. I like Chuck E. Cheese pizza better than I want to admit. How about I do, too? How about I do, too? Are you always starving when you go there? Yes. Though? I'm always starving. Oh, well, can I tell you this? You can I tell you? And y'all are going to laugh at me. Of all the places that have salad bars, you know my two, one of my two favorites. Well, two of my favorites. I'll just tell you. And they're the least favorite Chuck places e. you think you would ever find a good salad bar. Chuck E. Cheese? Chuck E. Cheese and Pizza Hut. Good night. Good night. Wow. Good night. <laughs> but, uh... Um, <laughs> really? I know it's sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about this? You are always starving at Chuck E. Cheese. Always. Yes. You well, you know why? You I can tell you, no, I can tell you why. You've been running. You've been running. Through, yeah. And you had to climb through tubes and find 50,000 little gold and coins. You, and, and you've promised the world to you, your, your kids. Your pocket's you know? full of tickets. And you know what I love about Chuck E. Cheese? One of my favorite things about them is they got a guard at the door. Yeah. So you can turn your kid loose and they won't let him escape. No, and to yeah. me, that's precious right there. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, the little blue light. Yeah, that's big. Boop. Because, see, that way that takes a little pressure off you as a parent. And yeah. You go, I don't know where my kid is, but I know he can't get out. Here. That's that. Uh, yeah. So that's a good feeling. He's in here with us somewhere. That's right. Well, man, that, that story is, yeah. it, it gives me the heat. So I guess the FBI is right? finding out if he has an accomplice or... If... Well, here's well, here's one thing. Uh, one thing he can uh, always say, I, I wouldn't lie. I told y'all. But there really wasn't a whole lot anybody could do. The key is um, letting put somebody put that bomb around your neck. That's not good. Well, I mean, if eight people jumped on you, you wouldn't have any choice. Yeah, but I might just let them kill me there. Rick and Bubba, yeah. Rick and Bubba. So simple, huh? it's stupid. Rick and Bubba present Dumb and Dumber. Saddle up, partner. Sunday night, don't miss Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels' Bonehead Classic, hosted by Talk TV's biggest no-brainer. And during the movie, catch the outrageous but totally true no real-life dummy awards. Bubba, the envelope, please. So join Jim, Jeff, Rick, and Bubba for a high-class evening of lowbrow comedy. Rick and Bubba present Dumb and Dumber, Sunday night at 8 Eastern, only on Turner's Side. It is 17 minutes uh, to the top of the hour. Time for us to give you an opportunity. Everyone who wins today, a 10-pack of tickets to Rick and Bubba night. And the Atlanta Braves take on the Florida Marlins at Turner Field on September the 19th. The Rio will come to you live from Turner Field. And uh, then that night, we'll all go to the ball game together. And you can sit in the Rick and Bubba section if you can win against Bill Bubba Bussy in country song or a dance. Yee-haw and howdy. It's time for your favorite part of the show. We call it, It's a Country Song or a Dance. That's right. With the wildest wranglers this side of the Mason-Dixon, country boy Rick and his buddy, Bubba. Yes, yes, it is time for Country Song or a Dance. Now, we all know uh, on the various country stations on radio that uh, we are carried, we thank them for their support. And without the country music listeners, this audience and this army could not uh, have the power that it now has. But we have to admit, when it comes to the genre of country music, there are some very interesting titles to the songs. As a matter of fact, at times it's hard to differentiate uh, what is a country song title, and uh, did you just make that up? Now it's time for you to decide. Uh, is Bubba making up the title he's giving you, or is it a real country song? You get three of those right in a row, and you're going to Rick and Bubba night as the Braves take on the Marlins at Turner Field on September the 19th, courtesy of Turner South, Atlanta Braves, and the Rick and Bubba Show. So um, we will begin uh, in Laurel, Mississippi, KZ94, and uh, where things are going very well for the show there in Laurel, and um, we uh, thank all of you there for your support. And, uh, Todd, you're going to have an opportunity to uh, win in Country Song Grenade and get a 10-pack of tickets for you and nine friends and family to go to Rick and Bubba Night with the Atlanta Braves. All right. You know how to play, right? Yeah, man. Okay, all right, here we go. Title number one. If you can't buy it, don't growl. Country song or it ain't. <laughs> it's not. I'm sorry it is. Well, that was very oh, quick. And, that uh, was Todd. quick. How about I'm now craving cheese pizza from Chuck E. Cheese? I'm sorry. With a salad bar order. No, thank you. <laughs> 
Uh, it's, but, the, it's the dressing or something. I don't know. Salad bars to me are just that, that that that's that's something I do if I'm waiting on food. I know. If food is available immediately, salad is not even in the game. I know. Uh, Michael in Pinson, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, Michael, here we go. Title number one. There ain't enough whiskey in Tennessee to drink the ugly off your name. Oh, my goodness. Let's say yes. I'm sorry it's not. Oh, oh sorry about that. I thought it was. All right, let's go to, uh, uh, I thought I'd heard that one before. Let's go to Teresa in Birmingham. Teresa, are you ready? I'm ready. Title number one. <laughs> If you leave me, can I come too? Country song or it ain't? Um, it's not. I'm sorry it is. Uh, isn't that how you ended up marrying Betty? Well, With that very line? Yeah. If, you, if you're leaving here, can I come too? <laughs> uh, let's go to Paul in Pelham, Alabama. Paul, how are you? All right, guys. Title number one. Y'all are stinking it up right now. All right, here we go, Paul. I'm quitting wild turkey, cold turkey. Country song or it ain't? <laughs> It ain't. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, nah, y'all are pitiful today. Hey, look, I got my good stuff. Hey, audience, y'all are pitiful today. Look, look, Phil Necro would be proud. All right, let's go to uh, Thomasville, Georgia. Larry! Larry how you doing? How you doing? Hey, th Larry, you know I almost named uh, my fourth child Larry. But then it, right. I just didn't think it would sound good. Brandy, Blake, Brooks, and Larry. You know what I mean? So I thought I'd stick with the B thing. Uh, all right, Larry, here we go. Title number one. The peach I picked in Georgia didn't cling to me for long. Country song or it ain't? Fresh. Uh, okay, all right, here we go. All right, here we go, Larry. Look, get something going now. Here we go. Bada, 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 bada. Title number two. Over lonely and under kissed. Country song or it ain't? Uh, yeah. You are correct. Here we go, is. Larry. Come on, Larry. Larry, if you get this one right, you are our first winner. You get a 10-pack of tickets to Rick and Bubba night, September 19th at beautiful Turner Field as the Braves take on the Marlins. Here it is, title number three. I went back to my fourth wife for the third time, and she gave me a second chance to make a first-class fool out of me. Country song or it ain't? I think so. You're correct, yes, it is. Larry! Larry! <laughs> <laughs> Larry wins a 10-pack of tickets. The Braves against the Marlins will put you on hold, Larry, and now you have to decide who are the nine of the people that are going to be going with you to sit in the Rick and Bubba section. Hey, fantastic. Thanks for uh, watching in Thomasville, Georgia, and uh, and possibly listening as well. Uh, Country 104 at Albany. Oh, yeah. Albany. How about that, that, that station is kicking, man. We get a lot of good response. A lot of feedback there. from still Albany. early, still early, but a lot of good feedback. Thanks, Larry. Hang on. Right. We'll put Larry on hold. Right. we still got more to give away, so... Next, we will travel to Huntsville, Alabama, where Chris is standing by listening to the Rocket 95.1. And if he has the right cable system or satellite package, he could be watching on Turner South. Chris, are you ready? Yes, sir. Title number one. Jim, I wore a tie today. Country song or <laughs> ain't? It ain't. I'm sorry it is. Oh, yeah. I don't see us making that one up. Yep. Uh, Navu, Alabama. Am I saying that right? Navu? Navu. Navu. Well, but you know, the, lo that's right. <laughs> the locals call it Navajo because it because it's named after the Navajo Indians. Sure, you know a lot that. of people know that. You, you do you not. You can call it whatever you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Just call it. Uh, all right, Karen, here it's we go. It's in Walker County. I understand. Uh, title number one, Nashville Rash. Country song or it ain't? <laughs> We've got that right now. It ain't. I'm sorry it is. You know, we have the Nashville oh, yes, Rash. We do. Right it's By actually the, Nashville itch. Yeah, if you're uh, watching in Nashville because uh, you have a satellite uh, or you have the right cable company, we, uh, we, we are back on radio tomorrow. Check the website when you get up in the morning. Friday at the latest will be their Monday broadcasting special guest, Michael W. Smith, better we, known as Smitty. We return to radio in Nashville today or tomorrow. Keep watching the website. It'll tell you what the new home for the Rick and Bubba show will be. Ooh, ooh. Uh, Kim Haleyville, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Great. Are you ready to try to win a 10-pack? I am. Here we go. Title number one. Lay something on my bed besides a blanket. Country song or it ain't? It is. You're correct. Got a way to work, girlfriend. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. Title number two. Steaks on the grill. Uh, buns in my bed. What a great life. <laughs> Country song or it ain't? <laughs> It ain't. You're right. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm so hungry. All right, here we go. Title number three. You get this one right, and you will be going to Rick and Bubba night with Atlanta Braves against the Marlins September 19th at beautiful Turner Field in the Rick and Bubba section. Okay. Title number three. Redneck Martian stole my baby. <laughs> Country song or it ain't? 
Old Nick Marshall stole my baby. <laughs> no. I'm sorry oh. it is. Oh, oh I know. You think she, oh, she is going to see all her friends today, and she's going to go, you know that country song, Redneck Martian Stole My Baby? That cost me going to the Braves game. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, so close, so close, but yet so far. Okay. Wanda. Hello, Wanda. Yes. Henniger, how are you doing? I'm fine. Go, title number three. Who's going to take the garbage out when I'm dead and gone? Country song or it ain't? No. I'm sorry oh. it is. Oh. <laughs> There, was there is friends. a disappointed oh, there, nine people in the background. There were her ten friends. Ooh. Laurel, Mississippi, will try one more time, and then we're running out of time. Barbara in Laurel, Mississippi. Barbara. Hello. Hey, Barbara. Listening to KC94. Hey. How you doing, girl? Doing great. How are you? Good. Barbara, here we go. Title number one. My parents were cousins, but it didn't affect me none. <laughs> Country song or day? Not. You're correct. <laughs> Title number two. They may put me in prison, but they can't stop my face from breaking out. Country song or day? I don't think so. I'm sorry it oh, is. Well, uh, oh, well. Oh. Well, uh, well uh, we got one winner out of that. Oh, wow. We, we got one I'm sorry, I had my good stuff. You today. did. It was... Y'all had a little wind in my face. I was bringing the knuckle in there. Yeah. Tim Wakefield would be proud. Larry, our only winner. Oh, Where you go, Larry? Way to work, Larry. It was anyway. You know what? It, it just hit me the other day that Todd Jones is uh, teammates now with Tim White. You know, I really didn't put that together. Or he will be in a few days. Great knuckleballer. Well, he's back. Yeah, I'll eat you back. I'll move it. Rick and Bubba. We have a pretty good group around you. So we love you, Craig. Our we really do. And, you're, you know, we have Rick and Bubba the television show going right now, too. So you're on radio and TV at the same time. Now, ESPN doesn't have to know you're on the TV. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. I, you know what? You, you mentioned that you're not a country station. Yes, we're one of the few. Why am I not surprised? When I walked up and saw you two guys, I just knew George Jones wasn't playing in the back. <laughs> well, that, that, good point. Good point. Well, now, could we interest you in a Rick and Bubba uh, T-shirt and best of Rick and Bubba? 95 tech today. Absolutely. That would be 25 American. <laughs> you know what? I want you to notice the back of it too. Check the back. You'll love it. So hold that up there for everybody to see. Friends, don't let friends listen to country music. There you go, buddy. <laughs> everybody, a big see you later. for Craig Gray. Thank you so much.